Hi everybody. I wanted to talk in this video about some events that have happened in my life. Um, starting in May, I was diagnosed on a Friday as being diabetic and I was then hospitalized the following Monday. It turned out that I was in DKA, which is diabetic ketoacidosis, a life-threatening condition. Um, and unfortunately my doctor made a huge error and didn't hospitalize me immediately. The Friday when I was diagnosed I already had 100 protein in my urine, 1000 sugar in my urine, 160 ketones. I was having uh, breathing problems that you get when you're in DKA and many other symptoms including blood glucose of 279 at the diagnosis. Um, so what happened was I got sicker and sicker over the weekend and I wasn't thinking very clearly. Um, I ended up, you know, I was vomiting, um, the breathing was getting worse, I wasn't able to keep food down, I was just kind of like lying in bed towards the end and dozing off and trying to eat sugar-free popsicles because upon the diagnosis I had gone out and purchased a bunch of food which I thought would be good uh, for me and I was taking metformin. I started vomiting more when I took that so I had stopped that. Um, basically my doctor gave me metformin, you know, prescription told me I'm type 1.5 and type 2 I believe is what he said. I don't really remember because I was really out of it <laughs> at the time. Um, and then said so come back on Monday and we'll see if you need insulin. So by Saturday I was really in, in terrible shape. I called up the office, I said, spoke with the physician's assistant and I said, I think I'm running out of insulin. I feel very ill. I'm type 1. And he said to me, and I quote, you can't be type 1. Only children are type 1. You can't be in DKA. I can tell from talking to you on the phone. And also your blood glucose is not high enough. He didn't know what my blood glucose was, I believe, at the time. He said, you're probably vomiting because of the metformin, even though I was already vomiting before I went to see my doctor on that Friday and I had told him about that and, you know, was having trouble breathing already at that point. And then he said in a sneering voice, oh, but you could go to the emergency room if you want to. Well, after that phone call, I became, you know, even worse physical condition and I was so out of it, I didn't know what to do. I was, to be honest with you, I was scared to go to the emergency room and I needed a doctor or a medical professional to tell me to do that. But if you ever get into a situation like that where you're having trouble breathing and you're having all these symptoms and you know you're diabetic or whatever, some other condition, or even if you don't know, just go to an emergency room and let them figure out what's going on. It's not worth losing your life and I could have, I could have gone into a coma, you know, it's getting to the point where it's just kind of lying in bed dozing off and, and trying to eat the popsicles. So and by the time I got to the hospital on Monday, I was in very bad shape. I don't know how I was even walking around and I was having, when I would close my eyes and open them, I was getting bursts of flashing light and then by the time we got to the ER, I had little balls of light floating around my peripheral vision. Very bizarre and I was becoming more befuddled mentally and I wasn't really walking that well at that point. Um, my family had taken me to the doctor and then he finally hospitalized me. But what I should have done was gone immediately to the hospital near me to the emergency room and I would have been given treatment earlier. I should have been hospitalized on Friday, but after that I should have just taken it upon myself and I will never, you know, do anything like that again. It will go immediately. Everybody told me, no, no, you know, you know you're diabetic, you get any symptoms like this, go to a hospital. So so don't be afraid to do that. Even if you're not diabetic or you're, you know, it's nothing to do with diabetes. If you have that type of symptom, you're having trouble breathing, severe pain, whatever, go to a hospital and let them, you know, tell you, oh, it's just minor, it's nothing, because that's what, you know, you want to hear, hopefully, but if it isn't, then, you know, you're going to save your life or save somebody else's life. So when I got to the emergency room, um, they were asking me what medication I was on, and I told them that I was on HRT, and I couldn't really remember the other meds, and I said, I think that's all. And by that point, my brain was really kind of starting to shut down, and I um, I couldn't, like, 
you know, get my thoughts out into words very well. And then I started talking about the visual disturbances that I always have with the little balls of light. Um, somebody said very loudly, DKA. All of a sudden they said level two, you know, and they started bringing me to the back room, putting bracelet on me and everything. And I, I remember lying down. They put an IV in my arm and I had a very nice nurse. It was really wonderful, my first nurse in the ER. And they gave me fluid. And then eventually when I, you know, was severely dehydrated at that point, um, I had sores all over my tongue. I was having pain, you know, eating food the previous week before that. Um, and I, when I was admitted to the emergency room, my blood gases were five and they had dropped tremendously over the weekend, which is very typical of what happens in type one diabetes when you go into DKA you kind of, your pancreas just kind of shuts down and basically stops producing insulin. And then you go into the DKA, which is a metabolic change. Your body starts burning your fat and your muscles. That, it was a slow process. I mean, I had had other symptoms of weight loss, which I didn't know why I was losing weight because I was eating like crazy and drinking like crazy and I had no idea. You know, it started out kind of mildly and then in the last couple of weeks was when it got really bad. Um, I had visual disturbances before that. I had had 20, 20 vision my whole life, and then all of a sudden, um, my vision had changed to 2070, and I had an astigmatism. I went to an eye doctor. He said, I can't find any physical cause for your visual changes, but again, no mention of maybe, maybe this could be diabetes, um, You know, no mention of testing blood glucose or anything like that. So I really was failed by a lot of doctors throughout this whole time. Um, initially, when I went into this